electric potential due to a dipole. Find the potential due to a dipole at point P, at point R and at a point on the x-axis such that x is much greater than A, the uh, half distance between the two charges. Find the electric field at a point on the x-axis for x much greater than A. So the dipole is placed on the x-axis <coughs> plus q at uh, minus a minus q at plus a you can see that at the point p is on the y-axis so if i have a distance y from the origin the distance with respect to the minus q is square root of a square plus y square and plus q is going to be the same because i have here a right triangle so one side is y the other side is a for point R, the distance between minus Q and R is X minus A and for plus Q is going to be X plus A. So X is the distance uh, with respect to the origin, point R with respect to the origin. Okay, so having found these distances, now the first task is to calculate the potential at point P. That's on the Y axis. Okay. So the potential at point P will have contributions from the two charges. It is K sum over I QI over RI. So we are looking at uh, the charges which have the same magnitude Q but opposite sign. So it's going to be KQ. The distance between uh, the positive charge Q at point P is square root a square plus y square so it's going to be 1 over a square plus y square square root and for minus q i have the same thing so it's minus 1 over a square plus y square square root and therefore you can see that the potential at point p is zero because they cancel out Okay, how about the potential at point R? Now, using the same formalism here, we have for potential at point R, KQ, the positive charge has a distance X plus A to point R. So we have 1 over X plus A and the negative charge has a distance x minus a so minus 1 over x minus a so we can see that the potential at point r is minus now x minus a minus x minus a so this is going to be uh, the x's will cancel so i will have here minus 2a divided by x square minus a square so this is uh, this goes to the top this goes to the top and i multiply them so this is what I get, minus 2kqa divided by x squared minus a squared. So that will be the potential at point R. Okay, now let's work on the potential in the limit x much greater than a. For x much greater than a, I know that x square will also be much greater than a square. So if I try to calculate potential as x goes to infinity on the x-axis, uh, this will be minus 2kqa divided by x square. And then for the electric field in the same limit, electric field x component will be equal to minus dv dx. So this is going to be minus d dx of minus 2kqa divided by x squared. I had 
So I find that the electric field for x much greater than a on the x-axis will be minus uh, the derivative of x to minus 2. So this minus signs will cancel. And I have the derivative of x to minus 2. That's minus 2 x to minus 3. So this will give me minus 4 kqa divided by x cubed in i hat direction. Okay, now the electric dipole moment, remember, is a vector that points from minus q to plus q and it has a magnitude q times the distance between them. So 2qa two, two is the electric uh, dipole moment. And um, so if I remember electric dipole moment P, in this case is equal to minus 2 qa i hat it points from the negative charge to positive uh, charge uh, this tells me that the electric field for x much greater than a can also be written in terms of the electric dipole it's going to be 2 p over x cube in i hat direction so you can see that 4 kqa the distance between them is 2a so it's going to be 2 qa is electric dipole moment so 4 kqa will be equal to um, of course i have a k here so let's make this um, 2k electric dipole moment vector divided by x cube so that would become 4kqa divided by x cube in i hat direction so this is another way to uh, state this answer and the electric dipole moment magnitude is 2qa so you can see that i can write the potential here also as minus k p divided by x square and also this answer can be written as minus k p over x square minus a square so everything can be written in terms of the electric dipole moment so to summarize we're trying to calculate the electric potential due to a set of point charges in this case a dipole that is placed on the x-axis a distance 2a apart such that plus q is at a distance a and minus q is at a distance a with respect to the origin for point p i have the same distance for plus q and minus q so the potential contributions cancel i have zero contribution uh, so kq over r where r is the distance between uh, the q and point p is kq over square root of a square plus y square and here it's with the minus sign so they cancel potential at point r so if i'm at a distance x with respect to the origin minus q is at a distance x minus a plus q is at a distance x plus a with respect to point r so here the positive charge contribution is 1 over x plus a negative charge contribution is minus 1 over x minus a and i obtain minus 2 kqa over x square minus a square when x is much greater than a this a square can is disappearing so this becomes x square so it potential decreases as x square as i go uh, far away from the origin and the electric field which is minus gradient of the potential is going to decrease as x cube as i can see from the derivative now i can define the electric dipole moment vector it's a vector that points from the negative charge to positive charge so if this is plus q this is minus q the electric dipole moment vector points from the negative charge to the positive charge and the distance between these two is basically 2a Therefore, P is equal to uh, Q times 2A in magnitude. 
So I can use this uh, in my answers. You can see that the electric dipole moment vector is in minus i hat direction. So this is going to be uh, 2qp divided by x cube. And for the potential, I have minus kp over x square in the limit x greater, much greater than a or minus kp over x square minus a square at point R.